Hello, good morning everyone. It is my pleasure to introduce myself. Well, I am Jessica Ladrido, BSIT1 at Section A. So this would be our final or last requirement for the subject reading in Philippine history. So for today's video, I'm going to recite a poem that is related to our previous activity wherein we talk about the history of the Philippines. Philippines is the only country in Southeast Asia that has subjected to Western colonization before. It had the opportunity to develop either a centralized government ruling over a large territory or dominant culture. In ancient times, the inhabitants of the Philippines were diverse agglomeration of the peoples who arrived in various waves of immigration from the Asia mainland and who maintained a little contact to each other. History is the study of life in society in the past, in all aspects, in relation to present developments and future hopes. It is the story of a man in time an inquiry to the past based on evidence. It is the field of study towards an inquiry into what happened in the past, when it happens, and how it happens. It is an inquiry into inevitable changes in human affairs in the past and the ways these changes affect, influence, or determine the patterns of life in the society. Hence, it is an attempt to rethink the past. Moreover, history does help us to understand the present day problems, both at the national and international level accurately and objectively. Respectively, history consists of wide area of studies that includes world history, Asian history, and the like on which is obviously thought incomprehensibly manner which mainly focuses on general and broad points of historical periods, landscape and spaces, patterns of human relationships and affairs, social cultural changes, political system economic development and the like. The history of the common people is often not always neglected without knowing that their history is indispensable to fully historical understand the history of the whole nation. This paves the way to conceptualization of the local and oral history of both field of study and method of historical inquiry on which historians, educators, and even the local government should emphasize the importance to help common people understand their local community, developing sound judgment on the social and local civic affairs, understanding the effect of social changes and influence that they take in their locality to the patterns of relations in the general society, and ultimately developing a sense of pride, identity, national consciousness among people themselves in the light of their local cultural practices, traditions, indigenous knowledge system, and their significant contribution to the development of the country as a Filipino nation. It is interesting to note that local and oral history works complementarily as they provide methods and processes of further go beyond the sensible re reality of life, experiences, and history of the people toward discovering their meaning and significance and making it relevant to the lives of the people and to the whole nation as well. In this unit, we will look deeper into the facet of local and oral history in terms of their nature, meaning, characteristic and processes on how to employ such historical methods in doing a local historical studies.